This video is sponsored by Creepypasta Amino, which is a really great app for both iPhone and Android. This Creepypasta community has so many things to do, such as public chats, polls, challenges, and a lot more. I think this app is great because, regardless of what you have to post, there's a whole community of people that share the same interest with you. Some of my favorite posts include the fan art that people create, the challenges people post about in the blogs, and of course, the memes. If you get the app, I strongly recommend you go to one of the public chats because the community is really friendly, and maybe even write a few blog posts. Creating posts for others to see is a lot more fun than you might think. The link to the app for iPhone and Android will be in the description below. When going on trips to interesting locations, it's only natural to want to take a lot of pictures of the scenery to fully capture the moment. Sometimes, however, these pictures can contain strange things that seem unexplainable. Recently, a fairly odd picture was posted to 4chan, and the original poster actually reached out to me to look into what was up with the picture. I found it pretty interesting, so I decided to look into it. This is what I found. This picture was taken by a girl named Sophie. Last year, her and her family were visiting a village called Vinci in Tuscany. This is the same village that Leonardo da Vinci grew up in. Now, you're probably wondering what the big deal is. This picture looks pretty normal, and that's because it is. Sophie ended up accidentally taking two pictures within a second of each other. This is the second picture. As you can see, this picture has what looks like a golden cloud or something of that sort in front of it. Honestly, I have no idea what this was that appeared in the picture. Not only is the picture mysterious, but some very odd stuff happened to Sophie not long after taking the picture. She tried to upload the picture to Reddit, but the picture refused to upload despite how many times she kept trying over the course of a week. Next, she tried to upload it to 4chan, and on her first attempt, it was rejected due to the child pornography policy, which obviously doesn't make any sense. When she finally did upload it to 4chan, the thread was removed after a month or so for seemingly no reason. Now, that last detail about the 4chan thread being removed isn't actually all that strange since all threads do end up 404-ing eventually. The rest of it is still weird though. In addition, she claims that her phone ended up getting stolen at a party, so while she was waiting to get a new phone, she borrowed her mother's old iPhone 4. Oddly enough, the picture with the golden cloud thing was in the iPhone 4 album somehow. At the end of her email, she swore she was telling the complete honest truth about everything, but obviously, I'm a bit skeptical of the whole situation. Obviously, my first thought was that this could have been edited with Photoshop or something of the sort. So I took the picture to photoforensics.com to further analyze it. This website pretty much helps you decide whether or not a picture has been edited or not. The first thing available on this site is error level analysis. Here's how this works. Here's a picture I took of my room, which was not edited. With error level analysis, it looks like this. Now look at this picture, which I obviously did edit by just adding a little line on it. With the error level analysis, it looks like this. It just sort of highlights the areas where it may have been edited. A better example would be this image, where it clearly shows that the stacking rings have been edited in. So I put both of Sophie's pictures into photo forensics, and there wasn't any sign of it being edited with the error level analysis. I was pretty surprised because I actually expected to find something with this. I also looked at the metadata of the pictures just to confirm that everything she told me was accurate, and it was. Both pictures really were taken one second apart, and they were taken with an iPhone 5. Also, the date and time these were taken matched the time she told me as well. Right now, there really isn't any indication that the picture was edited, but there was one thing I found that was a little weird. When looking at the metadata of the picture, there's a tab labeled Photoshop, which would imply the picture was run through Photoshop, which would also suggest it was most likely edited in Photoshop. I emailed Sophie about this, and she once again swore on God she did not tamper with any of the pictures, and she doesn't know why the Photoshop tab appeared. And I'm kind of starting to believe her a little bit, because the Photoshop tab in the metadata appears on all the pictures she sent to me, even the ones that she would have no reason to edit. Also, when I run through one of the pictures that I Photoshopped myself, the Photoshop has all this information beneath it, whereas the pictures that Sophie sent me only had the IPTC digest underneath it. I spent a long time analyzing these pictures, trying to find out if any of them were edited, and I couldn't find any really compelling proof that any of them were fake. So I figured it was time to consider the possibility that this picture was real. In the picture, the cloud-like object seems out of focus, which led me to believe that whatever it was, it was much closer to the camera than the other surroundings. I considered that maybe her hair got in the way of the camera, and this is what we're looking at. I asked her about this, and she sent me this picture of herself, 
which confirms that she does have long blonde hair. But she says it's unlikely it was her hair that got in the way because she holds the camera far from her body when taking pictures, similar to the person in this picture. Also, the pictures were taken only one second apart, so the chances of her hair moving in front of the camera that quickly are slim. Honestly, I'm stumped at this point. I couldn't find any strong evidence that this was edited, and it seems unlikely that it was her hair. The strange picture, along with the even stranger story, is really puzzling to me. So, she could be telling the truth, which, if that's the case, I have no idea how to explain this, or she could be lying. Either way, I'm really puzzled as to what exactly happened here. So what do you guys think? Was this real or just a hoax? Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the flip side.